welcome to day number three of vlogging time. Today is February 3rd and it's um, 11.30 something. Um, I starting the vlog in the car. I'm on my way or I just dropped Carlos at a dentist's office. I have my, um, what is it? The bouquet from Junko Okamoto on. I love it. Um, and um, we have power. We have power back. And I, it's been a morning. Like I edited my video yesterday, you know, midday, and then the power was out. We went out and when we came back, it was still out. So I was not able to upload yesterday. So this morning I took my time to do that. Knit a little, bake the bread that I left outside. <laughs> and then take Carlos to a dentist appointment. And now I am on my appointment, which I am taking off my lashes. I'm taking off my lashes. I had my lashes for seven years, guys. I had, I have, tr I have worked with what, four, one, two, three, four, four lash artists. They are all amazing to this day. I love them all. Um, and um, the fifth one here in Texas, I did a lot of research to see, you know, her work and whatever. And when I started looking, like I, I, I slow, I, I saw the change slowly, right? And it was not, I didn't like them. Um, when all my previous lashes from the previous lash artist fell off, they look like caterpillars and we had a talk and um, she just cannot figure out what I want. I want a little bit more natural than this. So these are so long and heavy. My own lashes cannot take it. Take it. And I didn't like her also. I um, there, There's so many things that happened, but one thing that for me was the nail in the coffin was one day and I'm not gonna name her or anything. I'm not gonna do a bad review. I'm not, I'm bashing her like, you know, in a way, but you guys will not know who she was um, cause I I want to respect that. I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like I don't wanna be damaging, but um, like I had these lashes for seven years and I had a couple of times that when they are removing the old lashes, they pluck your own lash out it haven't happened a lot, but with her, it happened a couple of times. The first time that happened, I screamed because I don't know if it ever happened to you, but that's it's painful. And she, she shushed me. She was like, shh, nothing happened. And I'm like, no, no, no. You know, thinking that she maybe didn't notice. And I'm like, no, you just like, like plug an eye. And, you know, and there was somebody besides me. You plug one of my eyelashes off. And um, she goes, I shh, yeah, 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 nothing happened. I'm like, no, like now I'm, I'm, I'm not, now I'm, I'm mad. I'm like, no, listen, you by accident plug one of my lashes. And she goes like, yeah, it's okay. And I'm like, no, it's not okay. It's not okay. You should say sorry and like not dismiss me. <laughs> like this is, it hurts. And she was so mad about it. And I was mad as well. You know what I mean? Just like, I was just like, how you sh like my mom never shush me like that you know what i mean like this hurts anyway tons of things happen but at the end of the day my lashes my own lashes hurt they are so they are trying to keep up with this weight and i can they cannot take it so to remove them and then i'm gonna have a week of no lashes and then i'm putting them back up on friday so let's get this going The power of lashes. Hey, 
am done thrifting. I love coming to this place. It's called The Caring Place. And they have another place that is called The Second Chance. And it's so good. Um, I always check the pins. I'm looking. One time I saw an entire um, cook, like pots and pans, all copper. And I didn't get them. I came the next day, it was gone. The same I'm feeling with that mirror. It's so heavy and I don't need it, but it was $40, it's so inexpensive. I'm looking for a taller one and that was not it. So I, I let it go. But I found a pie um, pan, or uh, this is not a pie, this is a, a tart pan uh, for $150. I have one, a really good one, but I lost this part. So I hope to find it soon. And then I found this made in Japan, um, just dishes. My husband is really, he's really hard on my dishes. I have a bunch from West Elm, Crate and Barrel, and I buy them all the time because he just cracked them and it has a crack, it's gone. Um, but I like when I find kind of like heavy ones. There was a set of 12 of everything. I only got the dessert plates and then I got the dinner plates. Six of them, I didn't get the, the entire 12. Um, I know, I'm a bad person. <laughs> but they were 75 cents each and there are dishwasher safe and freezer safe, oven safe, and even microwave safe. So, well, they all, are the majority are microwave safe but oven safe i mean they were so good um i didn't get the soup bowls and anything because there was no design at all um so why even bother anyway i don't mind mix and matching plates i have so many sets and i even have my wedding set so um but i like to buy these ones just in case they get broken um, I just tossed them. However, these ones, they last forever because they're so heavy. Um, the West Elm and the Creek and Burr ones, they're crap. Anyway, oh my God, I miss, I miss my lashes. Anyway, let's go to Juan.
2020. I am back home. Nothing is going according to plan. I am quite frustrated. So I'm going to go ahead and tie all the knots that I left loose during the day and then go to bed and then we will start fresh tomorrow. It happens to me. I bet it happens to you. Wins of the day. I found a fabric for the Ashton top. I went to Joanne's and I found a fabric. I need to wash it. So I have to put that in the washing machine because then if I don't wash it and I cut the sleeves and the interfacing or the facing, um, then it will shrink and it will look like a hot mess. So that is a win because I got that. I love my bouquet by Junko Okamoto. I talk about briefly about it and I, although I am not happy about the color situation, <laughs> but I love wearing it. I get so many compliments every single time. So that is a win. Losses today. My bread. I left it aside because I didn't want to open the refrigerator and leave it in the refrigerator overnight. So it's overproofed. Number one and number two, I was late to leave for Carlos' appointment, so I didn't want to leave the bread out. So we had like five minutes left, and I was like, "Just hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna be there in time." Well, I took the entire pot with the bread inside and I left it there. So the bread is super sour because it's over, over fermented, and <laughs> it's like the the crust is not it's chewy, so it's not like I don't know, it just. So I tossed that. <laughs> then I went to work on the Ashton top, the thing that I showed yesterday, and um, I couldn't find the pattern. So I have printed this several times to get the me correct measurement to print the pattern again and get the pattern again. So hold on, it's just, um, so I can work on this tomorrow. I wanna work on that tomorrow. So I'm gonna print that out, have it there for tomorrow. And then the other thing that I really bumped out today is that I, I try this on and it's very big. <laughs> and if you, if you watch my um, regular podcast, I was complaining that they were too small. Now the problem is the reverse. They're too big. They're huge. But I didn't do the arch support or the, um, you. I think you just slip one, one all the way around and then you need the, the entire thing. Um, and you have that um, hugging your arch. So I am tempted to rip all the way to here where I'm just working with the second color and then do the arch um, support. So I have, so I cinched them in a little bit because they are quite big, especially in, the, in that area. This is okay, although it's a little big. Um, I wish they were a little smaller. I'm like, what is going on? So I'm probably gonna keep on knitting on my cat uh socks i have three socks i don't know how many socks going at the same time it's okay i love working in this sock and especially in these needles so i have one down and then i have the other one which i don't know where the other sock is and then lastly and not least i love making my own charms and i found these ones at joann's for 60 percent off so i think i paid like four dollars i always get lobster clasp is that is what it's called and i use them as progress keeper and stuff like that and um i love to support charms makers but at the same time i lose them all the time like i amanda last year sent me one and i love it and i cannot find it so that's me. I miss my lashes, but another win is that I found my uh, Chelsea Locks Valentine's box from last year. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, yes, I got this. And that was, when she posted, I think it was yesterday or today that she had some boxes. And I was just like, I got a box of that last, night, last year. What I did with it is here. The same with the bunny box uh, from Amanda. It's like, the entire thing is like in a bag. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead, shower, get in the um, get in the bed, and I am going to probably read. I am I am knitted out today. Uh, maybe I, I knit on this in the socks that I said I was gonna knit. Anyway, TV. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>